Okay, so today I want to talk about the guitar writing process for Kronos and how I've gone about it. So writing guitars for Kronos has been one hell of a challenge, but definitely a good one. Um, the guitar players like a heavy metal and hard rock background. Writing guitar bits for electronics definitely tests your guitar playing. Um, so for Kronos, um, I took my influences from three different people. One of them being um, Tom Rowe from Rage Against the Machine, John Pochon A from Red Hot Chili Peppers, and also Jack White from The White Stripes. Mainly because all three of them, they're heavy guitar effect users, and they all have different backgrounds. So you've got the funk, you've got the hard rock, and you've kind of got like the zany um, blues rock. So guitar effect wise, my main pedal that I use is the Digitech Whammy. I use that to kind of get the um, synth guitar tones. Also I like to use it for the octaves. I also use a wah pedal, a chorus for my cleans, and a flange pedal for my um, distorted tones. As well as messing around with delays and reverbs. So anything to try and push the electronics and to make them sound all zany. So guitar wise for Kronos, I'm currently using the Epiphone Wilshire Phantomatic, which is a signature guitar from Frank Iero from My Chemical Romance. Now this guitar here is a hybrid of three different guitars. It has the neck, the pickups, and the headstock from Epiphone Elisis. Uh, features a really cool six-way baritone switch, which is taken from Epiphone Casino. And it features a really cool um, little kill switch button here, which is pretty neat. So I'd love to know who's influenced you as a guitar player and also how do you go about writing guitar riffs for styles that you're currently used to. Leave in the comment section below, I'd love to know on your guys' opinions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also make sure to follow us on our Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. All the links to that in the description below. And hopefully I'll get to see you guys next time.